takes a look at freezer selling, past, present and future. Here's a look at how freezers were sold 30 years ago. I see you're interested in a freezer. Oh, you undoubtedly saw our ad on this little jewel. We call it our jewel box. <laughs> it's the most freezer you can get for the money. Right here, look, you could put a whole side of beef. Right here, everything. And over here, there's room for all kinds of things. I bet you're a nut on fresh strawberries, aren't you? <laughs> all you have to do is buy them. Buy the bushel, even. I bet you could put a whole bushel of fresh strawberries right here. And look at these other features. Look at them. Well, that was Freezing's look at the past. Here's Freezing's look at the present. That's things as they are now. Good morning, ma'am. I see you're interested in a freezer. You undoubtedly have seen our ad for this little jewel here. In fact, we call it our jewel box. <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest freezer you can get for this price. Look here. You can get a whole side of beef right here. Everything. Over here, there's room for all kinds of things. I'll bet you're a nut over fresh strawberries, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. All you have to do is buy them. Buy the bushel, even. I could just see a whole bushel of fresh strawberries right there. And look at these other wonderful conveniences. And now, Freezing takes a look at the future. That's 30 years from now. Good morning, madam. I can see you're interested in a freezer. You undoubtedly saw our ad on this jewel. In fact, we call it our jewel box. <laughs> <laughs> this is the biggest freezer you can get at this price. And right here, you can get a whole side of beef. Right here, everything. And over here, you can put all sorts of things. I'll bet you're kind of a nut over fresh strawberries, aren't you? <laughs> all you have to do is buy them. By the bushel, even. I bet you could put a whole bushel of strawberries right here. And look at all these other features. They have the bushel. to this, ladies and gentlemen, is that freezers haven't been selling very well. Twenty years ago, we were pushing the cold, dark holes to farm families as a cheap place to put stuff. We're still doing it today. But if we keep doing it tomorrow, we're going to miss a lot of customers. After all, that economy model Freezer is... What he's trying to say is that this bottom of the line freezer is not what we should be selling the hardest at all. It's just a cold, dark hole. Inconvenient and nothing but a coffin. Ugh. Very interesting. 
but morbid. Yeah. Yes, the lady is right. It's time for Sears to quit pushing those cold, dark coffins onto everybody who comes into the store. Customers have changed. We need to talk to the millions of young married couples who have more money to spend than ever before. What these housewives want is convenience, not cubic feet per dollars. And only Sears can give them true convenience in a freezer. That's right. Today's freezer customers are young, better educated housewives, intelligent, gracious, more sophisticated. And these housewives are mainly interested in convenience. That is what we have to sell them. Enough, folks. It's fucking to me time. Good afternoon. Oh, hello. Guess what? What? My husband shot an elk. Oh, well, I, I see. That's why I need a freezer, you see. Uh-huh. You ever tried to put an elk in a refrigerator? No, but once I tried it with an odd fellow. <laughs> <coughs> I think this one's big enough. Mm, I see it's on sale, too. Oh, oh well, Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Parkinfinkel. <coughs> Mrs. Parkland, T. Parkinfinkel. Well, Mrs. Finkel, Tuttler. Parkinfinkel. Oh, I, I see, yes. Well, this, this is big enough to hold an elk, all right. But may I suggest you see the cold spot time bank? It's really much more than just a freezer. Oh. 